the dock in the cold gray drawer. Yeah, there ought to be a law making them stay out there after breakfast anyway. Don't worry, Barney. After the day, you'll be shooting that one-eyed monster of yours for Uncle Sam. Yeah, and you'll be seeing plenty of cold gray dawns then, brother. <laughs> you'll find out that the signal cord is a lot of other things besides false signals. After ten years in this racket, it'll be a vacation. <laughs> a simple soul, isn't he, boys? Yeah. Woo! <laughs> Well, what do you think of that? Sounds fishy to me. You're Dr. Randall, no? Yes. You hear me? I just want to find Well, I... You're a carter of the Globe Tribune, aren't you? Uh-huh. Say, there's a woman on that boat with the name of Agatha Bruce. Yeah? What about her? Oh, She's a sister of that uh, missing Dr. Bruce. Good story. My great story. Trying to sell your bootleg gas? Yeah, well, it's a screwball, I guess. That's her over there with the furpy. I guess I'm awfully glad you're here. Come on, Bonnie. George, it's terrible. What happened? Miss Brewster? Yes. I'm from the Globe Tribune. Miss Brewster threw up that over her brother to give an interview right now. Yes, Father Time. Uh, oh, well, uh, may we have a picture? Go ahead, Barney. Let's make you smile now. Smile? Oh, excuse me. Thanks. Now, about that interview, when may I see you? Oh, uh, some other day, the next week. Where? Miss Brewster will phone you. Oh, let her give you the brush off. It's a great story. Hey, what is this, anyway? If you'd only have listened to me, all this wouldn't have happened. Well, what about the police? Haven't they been able to trace you? Fortunately, no. Fortunately? Yes, very fortunate. Agatha Jim isn't lost, except for this world. She's hidden away at Springdale in the old mansion. You'd be better off in the family cemetery plot. George. I'm sorry, but it's true. What's Six months ago, we made an astounding discovery. It was so far in advance of anything that's been done to date that Jim decided to be the guinea pig for this experiment himself. I tried to talk him out of it, but you know how stubborn he is when he gets an idea in his head. We made the experiment, and unfortunately, it was a great success. So great, in fact, that we've been unable to counteract the result, and Jim... He's still alive, isn't he? Yes. And the story of his disappearance was a fake? Yes, I put that out to cover the whole affair up so that if the worst comes to the worst, it saves him a great deal of unpleasant over life. George, what does he mean? Prepare yourself for a great shock. I guess.
accident that brought her here. Stop shaking, Agatha. I will hurt you. Oh, you poor, poor. Open the door. Get back! you coming with that ghost yarn? I couldn't get a thing out of her at the boat. Now I'm going through the board. Boy, is she a screwy dame. I don't want that junk. I want a personal interview. And get me some more pictures. Good ones. Barney Smell. I'm sending someone down to replace him. Name is Billy Mason. Okay, Chiefy. Now hop to it. And don't call me Chiefy. Okay, Chiefy. Going into the army has sure done something to Barney. Looks more like a ghost than a ghost hunter to me. Now, just what could have happened to get such a piece of tripe? Well, it's out of focus. It's underexposed and overdeveloped. And besides, there are two pictures on the same negative. Is that all? <laughs> yes. Yes, sir? Take Miss Mason down to Carter. She's taking Barney's place. Well, thank you very much, Mr. Martin, for giving me the break. I'm sure I can... Ah, forget it. But remember, I'll be satisfied with just one picture on each negative. I'll do the very best I can. Carter? Billy Mason. Okay, sit down and take the load off your feet. I'll be with you in a minute. Nice. What went by when I wasn't looking? I see you know your perfume. I know that one. In fact, I'll never forget it. The first girl I met that used it either. Nice? Yeah, but she liked it. So? She told me her boyfriend was in boot camp. Okay, Mason, let's go. Mason! I'm Billy Mason. Huh? I said I'm Billy Mason. I'm taking Barney's place wherever he is. Well, why didn't you say so? Come on, let's go. Where 
you're going, if I may ask. To Springdale, the old Brewster home. An interview with a screwy old dame to get some pictures. Good pictures, I hope. Why the I hope? A good reporter generally gets an interview. I'm worried about the interview. It's the pictures I'm worried about. Oh, I get it. Well, listen, Mr. Brisbane. You take care of your end of it and don't worry about mine. My pictures will be as good as your interview. And maybe a little bit better. Talk little Wayne, aren't you? Well, I've had to hold my own against four brothers all my life. I guess I can handle a four F like you. Four F? And what gives you the idea I'm in four F? Well, I can't think of any other good reason you're not in uniform. Listen, baby, you're looking smack dab at a 14 carat 1A. No dependence, physically perfect, with a personal letter in his pocket from the president. 30 days from now, I'll be Jefferson B. Carter, Seaman Third Class. Oh, yes. 30 days past September, April, June, and Jefferson B. Carter. Well, I'll take back the part of it about 4F, but the rest of it still stands. It makes me wish I was in the Navy right now. That makes two of it. All right, sailors, shove off. Well, I must say the house matches the old girl with tea. 
What is he? He's a ghost hunter. Did you say ghost? Yeah. Ever see any? Ha, <laughs> don't be silly. She has. <laughs> no kidding. She's written books about him. She's been all over the world, poking around in cemeteries and haunted houses. She just got back from a cook store of haunted castles in Europe. <laughs> Come on, let's go. I'll be going, Miss Brewster. Just keep on with the prescription I gave you. Oh, I, I will, then. Won't you come into the library? If you don't mind, Miss Brewster, I'd like to know a little more about your work, your book, your chapter. I think our readers would be interested.
bother you, child? Oh, no. I just won't sleep all night, that's all. Suppose we get the picture before Miss Mason passes out, huh? Certainly. Now, listen, Percy, you stand right over here by the phonograph, and uh, you hold this record. Hold it like that. Beautiful. All right, honey, come on, come on. Get yourself together. Thanks very much, Miss Percy. Oh, just a moment. One more. See this, please. Oh, yes. You mind? Very well, sit down. I'll take the galloping goat. Now, you sit there and try and give me a, a pose like you were hunting for a goat. That's it. Get it. That was very kind of you, Miss Brewster. Uh, I'll send you a couple of those pictures of it. You look great. Come on, honey. Let's go. I'll uh, send you a copy of the article. I might want to check with you later. May I come out again? Uh, I guess so. Please phone me, sir. Oh, certainly, certainly. Thank you very much. Well, uh, goodbye. Dave, are you mad? Come up here. What did Sandra say? You will not be a problem to a man. Galloping goes himself, but it. Even if I felt all right, that wouldn't get the last out of me. All right, let's go. You've got any gas? What a lot of hoes. <laughs> the galloping goes, huh? I don't know who she thinks she's kidding. Meaning what? Did that record sound like the noise we heard me drove up? Come to think of it. No. Damn right. Oh, there's something screw about the whole thing. I feel it in my bones. Maybe it's rheumatism. Yeah. No. Longest years of cooperation. We need to die like this. We won't get away with it. Oh, please, Jane, stop me. Oh, leave me alone. Get up, get up there. I love to see. Get out, boy.
Morris was to her. I must have had to do it. It's my life against somebody else. And I don't want to live the rest of my life this way. And I won't. Well, well. Yes? Someone from the seat headquarters to see you, sir. All right. Ask him to wait in the library. I'll be right back. Very good, sir. Do you suppose anybody saw you come in here? No, I'm sure not. Stay right here. Don't take a chance on leaving. Oh, the captain sent me over to get some more soap on that Rufus of the Germans case. But I've already told him all I know. Well, there's a few things I'd like to check on. Very well. So the last time you saw Miss Stresby, is that right? I could drop in tomorrow sometime and... Oh, there's just a few more things. Uh, where do I get the sound? Well, I guess that's all. Thanks a lot, Todd. Not at all. Oh, if you think of anything else in connection with Dr. Booster, let us know. Looks like we sure can use a lot of help on this one. All right, I will. Okay. Well, I'll try it. Hello. Oh. 
Hey, isn't that the guy we saw at Brewster's? It does look like it, doesn't it? Yeah. Hey, those pictures. Okay. Well, I don't know what's happened to him. Just lost his butler by strangulation. <laughs> Cops are trying to pin it on an ape. Can you tie that? Here. Well, I see you got something on the film anyway. Now, let's know, Man River. Uh-oh. Trying to pull a Barney, huh? What do you mean? Two pictures for the price of one again. Look at that. Where? Right there. Well, I never saw that before. What is it? How did it get there? It's like a gorilla to me. A gorilla? Yeah. Don't never don't. What heading does that come under? Quick photography? Is it a game? I didn't do it. It's in the picture. It was there when I shot it. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. Maybe this is the galloping ghost from Glen Raven or whatever his name was in the flesh. Remember those sounds? Yeah. Is that the way a gorilla sounds? I'm not much of a tar there, but could be. So, the butler of the guy we saw there was murdered by an ape. I wonder. What are you going to do? Try to tell the boss a bill of goods. Sure, you want me to go? No, well, honey, you stay right there. Say, maybe you're my lucky number. I got it, Agatha. I got it. What? The fluid. The spinal fluid. You know you've got it? Yeah. That's what I expected. You said he wouldn't. He did. I did. He is going to make the injection. He refuses. I kill him. Yes. I mean just what I said. to the police to save you yesterday and made myself almost as guilty as you are. But I won't incriminate myself any further. I'm through. Oh, no, you're not. Threats will do you no good. If necessary, I'll go to the police and tell them the whole story. You'll do as James says. Go on, hurry. Ready, doctor?
Look. Look. Stand up straight.
Senhor! A casa! I must have moved! I need in the bushes outside the Brewster home so long, I nearly took root. Waiting for the galloping ghost to go by? No, I've got a hunch there's something truer than ghosts in that joint. Well, why didn't you let me in on it? Because if my hunch is correct, it's no place for a babe in the woods like you. Oh, by the way, if you need any more body pins, you'll find mine in the second drawer. <laughs> Thanks.
expecting someone else? No. No, her daddy is uh, coming. Mm -hmm. A little touch up on the hair, a new pair of lips, and you're as good as new. Where are you going? Back to my listening post. Lucy? Uh-huh. Can I go with you? Uh-uh. Well, why not? I'll face the little girl. There's too many snakes, frogs, and lizards. Big ones. Big as alligators. And besides, if I have to run, I don't want to wait for you. Oh, uh, don't wait up for me. Going to what?
Now, don't you over my knee and paddle you good. Don't be a chump. Hey, what are you doing in my car? Who are you, anyway? Me? Oh, I'm the author of the story. Truly idea, wasn't it? 